Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So recently I was working on uh, deploying an application uh, where I faced 500 internal server error. Okay, now in this video I'll describe how the issue happened, how we identified the issue and how we resolved it. So first we'll start with explaining the application of tech stack. So the front end was in uh, Node.js, the back end was in Python, and we had to create a CI/CD pipeline in GitHub Action, where we are uh, doing build, and then we have a Docker image cre uh, creation for which we have a Docker file, where whatever is getting created in build has to be copied into Docker file and then we are building the docker image and then that docker image will get deployed in a cluster so this was a tech stack basically basically the docker image and the build stage was playing a greater role and then there were scans in between that were performed but why after everything was running fine pods were running fine they were up logs were almost clean still we got the issue of 500 internal server error it was because of small mistake which which is why this happened so when we check now i'll start with the debugging when we check when we did kubectl get pods hyphen namespace hyphen and then namespace we saw that pod is up and running there is no error in the status the pod is up and running okay then we checked the ui ui was not loading and then it was not loading at all it was all white screen then i checked in developer tools what actually is the status there i got to know in uh, in output that there is 500 internal server error where uh, i saw more that whatever css and js file it is trying to fetch it is not able to get it so something was happening that uh, the front end files were not able was not there at the location somewhere that's why it was not able to get it some some network connection something was missing that's why UI was not loading. Okay. It was all white. Then when I checked the logs, so there were two containers in this pod. First the UI one, then the backend one. When I checked the logs of the first container, so kubectl get logs, uh, then the pod name, kubectl logs, then the pod name, then hyphen C then the container name and then hyphen n then the namespace name when i checked both the container logs what i see ui container logs were clean but the backend container logs were showing some error some connection was not happening due to which uh, it was failing so it was just that connection was not happening so when I saw the CI/CD pipeline that am I missing something or what is happening, I'll tell what was the flow. In the build stage, we were doing npm uh, install, npm run uh, build, where the static files were getting generated. By static files, I mean the logo, the image, then the index.html, then the CSS file, the JSS, JS file, whatever dependencies were to be installed, which were mentioned in package.json. Everything was happening here. And those static files, then comes the Docker image creation stage, where the static files we were copying in the Docker file to the backend directories why is it happening for the uh, ease of deployment and the for the security purpose we are copying the front end build into the back end directories okay before the deployment so uh, so that python back end can serve the 
front end okay so both can work in sync and then after copying we were doing the uh, docker image was getting created and after docker image creation we had this yaml files which where we were replacing the image and then we were doing the deployment okay Th then there the issue that we found is the index.html should be present under the templates folder because python backend searches for index.html at that place and it was not there because i was not copying that explicitly what i was thinking when i am copying the static files everything is getting copied so no need of explicitly copying the index.html but what i forgot that static file is that some other location it is getting copied and the index.html should be copied under templates folder which is why it's not able to find index.html and which is why the ui is not loading there is a blank white screen the js file the css file what i saw in developer tools now it all make the sense right when we see and we connect every dots that the js file and uh, the css file which is trying that main.js or cs file it is trying to find it's not why is it not able to find because it's not at that place after copying the index.html explicitly after adding a copy command in docker image explicitly for index.html the issue got resolved and the ui got loaded so this was a minor mistake which was happening I've done all the speaking so here you can see that this was a project architecture front end what no js back end python ci cd what were what were all the stages build front end static files stack scan and build docker images copy static assets into back end back end collects and serve front end file so for security and deployment convenience, a front end is served by the Python backend in production, meaning the output of front end build must be copied into backend directories before building the Docker image. And this is a sample Docker file. So either we can remove this thing, okay, build front end, separate build. And what we can do, we can merge, we can just have a scan and build Docker image stage where we are doing everything. We are doing build also and where we are uh, you know uh, after build we are copying in another stage so we'll create a multi-stage docker file so that uh, is also one way uh, first uh, stage will have the uh, it will do the npm install and npm run build okay after this it will create the static files and then the second stage will be of python so we have taken the python base image work directory then we are first uh, you know installing the require requirements or txt by doing pip install then copying the backend source code creating the folders if it is not present inside the app folder inside the current working directory folder and then copy from build stage so from this stage from build front end stage i'm copying the static files which got created okay front end static file which got created and i'm copying the index.html file and that's it we are running the python on you know backend server and this will do our job and then after this docker image creation we'll deploy the image uh, with uh, inside the uh, uh, by replacing the image in the uh, uh, deployment.yam so that's all i hope it's helpful please let me know if you're in the comment section till then take care bye